morning, welcome to this amazing weather day. I'm on my favourite climb, Dustones. And this is going to be my second long-ish solo ride of the week. And I'll be honest, when I first started riding like, was it like six years ago now? I really hated riding on my own. And over the years, I have grown to love it. And so today I thought I would share five things that I learned riding solo. So the first thing that it taught me was mechanics. It forced me to learn how to fix things if it went wrong. And I know for a lot of people that is their biggest fear and that's why they don't necessarily go and ride on their own. Maybe you can relate to that, but I know it was for me. It forced me to learn how to fix things if they did go wrong, if my tire burst, if my chain snapped, if my mech hanger snapped. So I think it's really important. I actually did a video on like the basic mechanics. So I'll leave a link to that below so you can have check that out if that's something that will, it, it will help give you confidence to go out and do longer rides on your own. Next one is route planning. Let's change a little secret. When I first started riding, I would ride up to, um, I mean, it was a long steep hill. Um, and I was like so scared of planning anything else. I just used to just do reps up and down this hill. Cause I was like, I don't know where to go. So I think as I've ridden more and more, like I, always, I don't know, I always used to, used to rely on other people. It's so much easier to ride on other people for like a good route. Whereas, it's so important that, and it's, it's really fun. I actually really enjoy planning my own routes now and being like, oh, where should I go? Or like, wh what do I want to see today? I mean, look at this stone wall. This is a good stone wall. So I think that's a really important thing that riding solo, like again, forced me to have to do is like planning my own routes. And whether that's 50K or whether that's 400K, like it's still, um, it's still the same thing. It, you just, it might seem scary planning something longer. It just takes more time. Uh, but I actually really enjoy that side of it now. Oh, God, how nice is this? I'm just about to head up home moss, which is kind of like over there somewhere. The next one is motivation. And it, I think it's a lot easier when you've got someone to meet at a set time to get out the door, whereas I know for me, it definitely helped build up my motivation to ride when I was on my own. So like getting up at 3 a.m. to go and do a 400k on my own. And I think it, so I'm really out of breath. I think it just builds over time. So your motivation just to do you know, your local club route on your own and then build up. But it definitely has strengthened like my motivation muscle and doing solo rides. I'm gonna have to go because I can barely breathe. I'm nearly at the top of it though. Well again, like the motivation to get to the top of climbs when you're not sat on someone's wheel or you've got a headwind and you're on your own, you've got to sit in it all day. It definitely builds up like resilience and mental strength as well. This is my favorite descent, I think, of pretty much all descents since the other side of Homer. The next one is confidence and I think doing those solo rides built my confidence way faster than me just doing group rides uh, because of all the things that I've just mentioned and I would encourage you if you are wanting to build your confidence then just go out and do some solo rides on your own because it is just one of the best things that you can do just to I guess improve your cycling improve your confidence on doing on doing rides <sighs> just look at this Oh, I'm just so happy to be on my bike in the sunshine. It has been far too long. The last thing, I've just got back by the way, is I think sometimes we, I don't know, we, we, we make things seem bigger than they are. And I know for me, like some of the things that I've planned and been like, 
oh, I don't know that I can do that. They're just never as bad as you think they're gonna be. And that's something that I've learned. And then also the other thing is, no matter how many solo things you do and how you know used to you get to it, every single one that you plan, you still have that like, it's almost like nervous excitement that just never goes away. I've just come to accept, oh, that's just, that just comes with it. And also I think with solo adventures that, I don't know, I think there's just something a little bit, like I love, don't get me wrong, I love going out with my friends, doing group rides and adventures together, but there's something just very special about the things that you do on your own. I think it just makes you feel capable and I don't know, I like it. It gives me a lot of, a lot of joy and uh, yeah, so I will see you. In fact, someone said in the last video, oh, I can't believe you're showing your helmet hair. Um, in a nice way, it was just like, oh, it's good that you're not like prissy and like, you know, have to do your hair first. So I I'm gonna take this out off so you can see. <laughs> that is, I don't know why I'm, just need to shower. I just need a shower. Okay, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get food, then a shower. Shower, then a food. Which ones do you do first? Food or shower, shower or food, I think. Oh, I think I want food first. Anyway, you don't care, do you? Anyway, I mean, I mean, you do care, you know what I mean, but that is a question, that is the question. When you get back from a ride, long ride, is it food or is it a shower? Talk about all the, the hot topics on this channel. Okay, bye. Hello, lovey. You don't need to hear me screaming that in your ear, do you? Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn the camera off and continue to shout with a lammy. I say shout in a nice way, you know what I mean. <laughs>